Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Gemini and Sagittarius a relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple. I am going to pull individual energy for Gemini and then I'll pull individual energy for Sagittarius and we will go ahead and look and see what's going on here. All right. So guys, Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, please. You know I'm shadow banned because Stink Breath decided she was going to get in the middle of my work, but I'm just saying, you know, she stank. Anyway, also, before I get started, guys, I just want to address something. Not that fast. I want to address something just really quick. All right, this is not going to be long because I don't feel like being long-winded today. I really don't. This is a situation. In terms of my love life, there are certain people I'm not dating, and I made it very clear online. When I say something, I mean it. I don't care who you are, it's not gonna happen. I also find that there are these delusional energies that keep appearing in these reads. It doesn't matter what you do. If you've been associated with my family and if you have to go back and talk to your family about me or talk to your friends about who you're dating, you're clearly not independent. And I'm just not interested in that energy. I want somebody who is mature, somebody who knows how to stand on their own, things like that. So you guys know what I'm saying. I'm gonna leave it there. Gemini, we're going to go ahead and pull your energy first in this relationship. I am using Mystic Red Rose Oracle. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Sometimes you just got to address stuff. I, I, I feel like I write it and it's like, I don't know if you see it or not. I know you see it, but you still got folks that have got nerve enough to feel like oh, I'm an athlete or I'm a politician. I can, I can, uh, I can change. No, you can't. No, you can't. You won't. So don't even try it. Don't even play yourself for real. Don't bother. If you're in some crap marriage with stink breath, you ain't coming over here. If you're already in a marriage and think you're going to leave your wife and walk in my house, you done lost your mind. So that ain't going to happen. I'd rather have the guy from McDonald's who can flip burgers confidently. He and I, together, right, will feed the children and we will do whatever we got to do to help out and... Just be good citizens, right? Upstanding citizens. So let me leave it there. Gemini, give me your energy in this relationship with Sagittarius, please. What's going on, Gemini? Gemini. Serious note, give me your energy. All right. We have the Phoenix. It looks like the Phoenix is not rising for you. <laughs> it says, for some of you guys, you might be stuck in an old phase where you can't rekindle something with your Sagittarius. Renew and growth. Changed mind, rise from the ashes. So you feel like you can't get Sagittarius to change their mind about something. Some of you guys don't want a new phase in this relationship or you cannot get into a new phase of this relationship because of maybe something that was done. Like I said before, it looks like there's no rising from the ashes. Rising from the ashes would mean that you had to fall and build something up, rebuild something. It feels like you guys might be failing at that or... Maybe you're having some challenges with it. I also feel like this could be somebody who doesn't trust. I feel like Gemini, you either feel like you can't get Sagittarius to trust you or maybe you don't trust Sag. I'm not sure how that goes for you. I'm going to leave that there. Let's see what else is going on. Gemini, give me your energy, please. So you guys fell. Oh, something failed for you, Gemini. All right, hold on. Card drop. Let's see what it is. All right, we got another one here. Oh, it talks about addiction. It did come out reverse here. Some of you guys might be getting off of an addiction. And for some of you, that could have been the issue in this relationship. What is an addiction? It's being codependent, obsessively looking at somebody, going through just being obsessive about something. Maybe some of you guys are letting go of this energy. Some of you guys could have had addictions, which is why you couldn't focus on this relationship. But it also says restraint. Some of you guys could be still, um, I don't know, I feel like you're trying to get away from it, but I feel like it could have been a serious issue before. For some of you guys, I feel like you did not want to invest in this relationship. And I say that because Sagittarius has a queen of wands that comes up, right? That's the energy they end with, where you end up with the full reverse. So here it says passion and control, possession and control. You guys don't possess something anymore. There's something you don't have a hold of. Could be Sagittarius's heart, emotional block. For some of you guys, the blocks are being removed. The blocks allow you to move forward once you get rid of this addiction. But I feel like for some of you, the damage has already been done. To me, under Phoenix, reversed, addiction, reversed, coming out of it, I still feel like there's a possibility there's something you're not going to be able to renew 
because of the behaviors already expressed, things that were already done, people already talked the crap, and Sag ain't having it. That's what it looks like. Not in this read. I want to be very clear, too. This is not going to be every Gemini Sagittarius relationship. Take what resonates, please, and leave the rest behind. All right, let's see what else is coming up. Sagittarius, oh, Gemini, sorry. Gemini, what do you got? What else is going on? I'm going to shuffle these up a little bit. Gemini, give me your energy, please. Oh, that flip. Partying. Ooh, child. So we got addiction reversed, which it looks like you're giving up addictions, but it says that you are now spending time with friends, having fun, happily single, and living in the moment. I feel like some of you guys may have had commitment issues in the past. I feel like you've dealt with uh, addiction in the past, but this also might be some acceptance that something's not going to work out with Sagittarius, which is why you go back to having fun with friends. But addiction and obsession and drug use, I feel like that might have been something to drinking that could have been an issue before. So I would be very careful with this, having fun, happily single, living in the moment. Or this could be how you feel about your Sagittarius because you could not escape the addictions, right? So you might have this feeling that you Sagittarius is out loving and having a ball with their friends. Some of you guys might be mad about it. You're like, I can't find my way back to this person. Look what I did. Give me more, please. One more. All right. So self-indulgence. I feel like some of you guys might be mm, dealing with self-worth issues because of this. For some of you guys, you're refusing to heal. Yep. This might actually be your story that even though you try and beat some sort of an addiction or you have the knowledge that you need to, there's a possibility you go right back to partying, living it up, living in the moment, and then there's self-indulgence, self-worth. You're doing this because your self-worth may be low. Some of you guys refuse to heal. Some of you guys refuse to do the shadow work. And we also see self-appreciation. Some of you guys might be abusing your bodies with this addiction and all this other stuff that's going on, right? So we see that. I'm going to leave this here so you guys can actually see it. All right, there you go. See that a little bit more. So, Sag, we're now going to take a look at your energy and see what's going on. We're going to take a look at your energy. What's going on with Sagittarius in this relationship with Gemini? Let me just shuffle these up real quick. I see coughing. Somebody could have passed, or that could simply mean that the relationship is over. You are going to have a new beginning with your own life. Liberation, you're free from this. Reborn, transition, and tragic endings. Some of you guys didn't expect this relationship to end the way it did. Some of you guys didn't expect the dynamic that you had to deal with within a relationship. Sagittarius, give me your energy, please. Sagittarius, give me your energy in this relationship, please. What's going on? Sagittarius, your energy in this relationship with Gemini. Wedding rings, union, marriage, soul connection, everlasting love and devotion. I feel like this is... You guys could be married or this is where you are. Some of you guys are married. Some of you felt like there's a soul connection or you still do. Some of you feel like this is everlasting love. I'm devoted to it. So sad you could be devoted to this uh, relationship with Gemini. Give me one more, please. Wedding rings. You guys could be married and somebody could have taken a fall or somebody's hoping to rekindle something. I feel like drug addiction or some sort of addiction, obsession. I want you in my possession. You can't leave the house unless it's with me type of stuff, right? It says, girl with a snake, reverse, charmed or used, enable boundaries. Some of you guys, you could be in a relationship, right? You could be married. And it says here, girl with a snake. So for some of you guys here, somebody might feel like they're used or somebody could be escaping the feeling of being used. I'm not giving you my money anymore. I am not giving you my time. As a matter of fact, boundaries. Now, I feel like this might be something that you guys need to do or something that you're not doing. Some of you guys are like, hell with boundaries. I'm not giving you boundaries. I'm going to come in your yard if I want to. Got no trespassing sign. I'm still going to pass it. I'm still going to do what I want. So somebody might be uh, acting like there are no boundaries. So you probably said something. Somebody said something to somebody like, yo, stay away from me. And you still decided you was going to pull up anyway. Possibility possibility somebody's ignoring boundaries they're ignoring the stop signs and they're running the lights running the stop sign running lights going right over trespassing signs where it says private property they still gonna walk up like that somebody who does not that could be your feeling about gemini take it how it resonates put the folks where they belong in these reads give me one more for sagittarius please sagittarius we have coffee cup meeting and talking savoring the moment feeling elevated and building a friendship for some of you guys here, this is about something new. Meeting and talking. 
Some of you guys are trying to build a relationship with your Gemini. Or you guys might feel like somebody interrupted your relationship. Some of you guys are questioning whether or not you're being used by Gemini. Meeting and talking. Give me one more so I understand. Give me one more, please, for Sagittarius. Girl with a snake, charm to you. Some of you guys are deciding whether or not somebody got in the middle of your relationship here, right? Third party type of energy. Teddy bear comes out reversed here. Interested in you. Sagittarius might not be interested in you. Flirting and wanting to date. Now, I'm confused because somebody here is married. It says wedding rings. Now, this could be your intent. This could be something that you want the relationship to result in. It says you feel that there's a soul connection. Or this could be a matter of somebody having the confidence to do something. And the other one not feeling worthy. It could be something like that. But I really feel like this is an established relationship because it clearly says a new phase so that could be a new individual phase, but we're looking at this relationship. Some of you guys want a new phase in your marriage. Some of you guys, there's some addiction or somebody may have been obsessing about somebody else. Girl with a snake, charm to you. Somebody might feel used, but I feel like Sagittarius, you can't necessarily confirm that you were used in this relationship. I feel like you were. I feel like a Gemini came up against you. For some of you guys, it was a Gemini that tried to say that you had some kind of obsession problems or I don't know. You're possessive or whatever they were saying. Could be something like that. But girl with a snake feeling charmed to use. Some of you guys feel like there was somebody else in this relationship. It's really funny because it does say Sagittarius. Um, Gemini goes out partying. And it says as Gemini goes back to being happily single and partying, you go out with somebody else. There's a coffee cup. That's what this is. Okay. There's a coffee cup. Some of you guys are walking away from this relationship because this person's got addictions, obsession, no independence. They're partying and they're self-indulging and they can't seem to get out of it. Gemini can't get out of those habits. Not in this read. Or Gemini, again, this could be your feelings about Sagittarius. Now with Teddy Bear interested in you, maybe their interest is going away from you. For some of you guys, Sagittarius, you may have had these great visions for Gemini. Like, oh, we're going to be this. We're going to be that. We're going to be this. We're going to be that. And this person, maybe in your maybe you found out they're not interested in you. Or for some of you guys, Sagittarius, you lost interest in Gemini because you saw the F stuff they were doing. You saw they're on the ground with drugs, codependent, obsessing, calling you every five minutes, stuff like that. Hey, baby, you home? I'm just making sure you home because I'm going to be out with my friends tonight. And Sagittarius already knows what that's about. You're going to be out partying, drinking, or whatever else you're doing. All right, so I think that might be an issue too. Take it how it resonates. Give me the common energy between these two folks in this relationship, please. <clears throat> we have hammer, sabotage, rebuild, persistent, working on it and repairing. Some of you guys want to repair this. Some of you guys are well aware that there was some sort of sabotage in this relationship. The sabotage could have been on the end of Gemini. The sabotage could have been on the end of Sagittarius. The energy that I'm really getting, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm feeling like this is Gemini who may have sabotaged something. But it says somebody's being persistent. You both want to be persistent and working on something. It could simply be to rebuild a friendship. For some of you guys, you could start there to see if you can get to marriage level. Or this is just a marriage that could have possibly fallen apart. And now Sagittarius is like, listen, I'm going out to date. I already had the girl with the snake all up in my relationship. And now... I met Roger or a Judy up the street or something like that. Some local person. And I'm going to go hang out. I'm going to have coffee with them because I feel like I might have a better. But I still feel like the common energy in the back of your mind. If you're in a marriage, who doesn't want their marriage to work, right? If you're in a long-term relationship, who doesn't want it to work? So I do feel like that is common energy. But I also feel like there is some recognition that something has been sabotaged. And I think the question is, can we rebuild it? I want you guys to take a look at this hammer card here. Shoot. This hammer card, if you take a look at this hammer card, you're going to see that this is a ring. So somebody's trying to repair a relationship. Somebody's trying to repair a marriage. Somebody could be trying to repair a marriage. But I also feel like there's little hope on the end of Sagittarius when it comes to uh, rebuilding this marriage because of this self-indulgence, because of the addictions, the partying, the unwillingness to do the work. As a matter of fact, I feel like for Gemini, once they get down about something, they're like, okay, I am independent. I'm going to show you, so I'm going to go out partying and stuff. So I don't know that that benefits you, but that's what I'm coming up with. All right, guys, so I'm going to take these cards and put them where they belong so I can reference them. All right, it's going to look a little weird. It's going to look a little, 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 little weird because it's... 
the way I have things set up here, but I do want Fiend. I want to see that. I'll be able to see them. I already read them to you guys, so you'll know what they are about. There we go. All right, and I'm just going to leave these over here. I'm going to put this here. All right, I'll reference them as needed. Girl with a snake. I feel like somebody interrupted this relationship. I really do. I feel like somebody tried to get in there and mess up your marriage or somebody wasn't willing to work on the marriage. We also have that there's some kind of shock. I feel like somebody was shocked by this when they got some news about something, right? Surprise and epiphany. Somebody had an epiphany in this relationship that things probably weren't going to work out or somebody was doing something or somebody said, if you guys were separated, somebody said, listen, yes, we're separated, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can work on it. And then you got some kind of news that it ain't going to happen. That's not how it happened. So we're going to go ahead and get into the read and see what's going on here. Gemini. We're going to take a look at you first. Gemini, I have the Nine of Wands that comes up for you. Now, we are dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So we have that here. Um, what I'm showing here is that some of you guys understand that you are fighting some sort of a losing battle. For some of you, this is about cutting your losses and getting out, learning a lesson of failure. For some of you guys, you are under a ton of pressure from outside sources. That's what I'm seeing here when it comes to this relationship. As a matter of fact, the text says that you guys are being advised or it says time to reject further demands as you are getting no support. I feel like for some of you guys, it's not necessarily that way. The vibe that I'm getting from this is you just stopped. You just stopped accepting demands, right? You stopped accepting the, hey, can I have a kiss? Can I have a hug? Hey, da da da. You want to do this? You want to do that? I feel like you guys just stopped. I feel like there were some outside influences who may have gotten in the middle of this relationship here. And it kind of says it too, given into outside pressure. So you're in a marriage, you're in a serious relationship and you have your friends telling you, Hey, you know, well, we want to go out. Won't you do, you're having some problems in this world. Won't you just come out and have some fun, something like that. So that's the, really the feeling that I'm getting. I feel like you guys, Jim and I stopped taking or accepting demands from your partner, Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting. I also see the King of Cups coming up reversed here. And we're going to go back and look at these again. So we have the King of Cups that comes up reverse. It does say, Gemini, that you are expressing some sort of destructive, destructive behavior here. It says that your emotions in this relationship swing between high and low. Like nobody knows what they're getting when they deal with you. One day you're good, right? And the next day you're low. And I feel like for some of you guys, this might result in outbursts or feelings of rejection when it comes to your Sagittarius, like you're rejecting me. So we see this destructive energy that comes up. It says, Gemini, that you're looking for some sort of tactic to be used as escapism. So you guys are trying to escape the realities of the situation, of the relationship, of the dynamic. It also talks about your unpredictable behavior. And it also talks about how you... Or your family members could come across as untrustworthy, right? So you could be associated or affiliated with people, family, friends who are, are untrustworthy in Sag's eyes. For some of you guys, it could be this untrustworthy person around you interfering in your relationship. King of Cups reversed. Could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio friend. I don't know. I feel like this is male-ish. So some, some of you guys, I feel like this is you pushing people away. I feel like this is now. I feel like the backstory to this is that somebody could have struggled with some sort of addiction or something like that. Too many people interfering in a relationship and I feel like you allowed it. And I feel like that's why this relationship came to some sort of demise here. It says now that you're pushing these energies away. I also feel like it could be too late. The full card does come up reversed here for you, Gemini. It says that you guys are taking some sort of a new step. It's a huge step. It's new for you. It's big. It's a new beginning. Some of you guys are moving on with no fear. And for some of you guys, you might be jumping off into a cliff or you did without even knowing it or acknowledging it, right? That's what I'm getting here. I feel like some of you guys, your behavior changed in a relationship. I feel like it became so overbearing for Sagittarius that they're just like, I don't know about this. Because notice, Sag comes up in this Queen of Wands energy. So with the full reverses, the steps being taken... We see that you're walking off of a cliff, and it also says you give no what's that you're walking off of a cliff, right? So we see that. It also says here that advice you were given, and this is what I'm talking about, the, these external people getting in the middle of your relationship, Gemini, these external people, 
It could have been an Aries Leo or another Sag, right? It could have been a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. For some of you guys, this could have been an Aries friend, family member, or an Aries energy with this full reversed, where it says here that you jumped off of a cliff and you didn't care. You didn't care what the risks were. Some of you guys were doing something outside of your relationship in terms of sex, sleeping around sex, because it says here something about you being sick. It says that you have some sort of a mental disorder or there was a temporary time of insanity for you. It talks about alcoholism and then that is backed up with partying. We see that card right here, the partying card. That could have gotten in the way of your relationship. And it also talks about some sort of departure. Again, some of you guys leave this relationship because you're like, I'm going to be independent. But then you go off and you start partying again and you start exercising the same, um, I don't know, actions that you were exercising before the relationship went awry. So I feel like that. At the end of the day, the card says with the full reversed, that bad advice takes you in the wrong direction. It takes you back to the nightclub, back to the strip club, back to cheating and whatever else you be doing, right? So we get that energy coming out. Or Gemini, this could simply be your feelings for Sag in this relationship. Let me pass. We also have here Sagittarius, just to get into your read, Knight of Swords comes out reversed. Now, with the Knight of Swords here, it says that there's going to be some sort of delays here. And I want to take a look at that. With the Knight of Swords, there's some sort of delays. It says that Gemini could be acting this way towards you or family members could have had some opinions about you because you guys could be acting cruel. There's some cruel energy that comes up. For some of you guys, it does say that you're a violent person or Sagittarius, you feel like your Gemini is a violent person. For some of you guys, you feel like, and this is Sagittarius, Sagittarius, you feel like Gemini is being deliberately evil or cruel to you trying to get in the way of what you're trying to do, trying to get in the way of the love that you're trying to provide or something like that. Or this could have been your energy with the end result being growth. Because I did say, I asked the card, Sag, what are your feelings in this relationship with Gemini? You come back and you say, Gemini is completely cruel to me. It's unwarranted. There's no reason for this. It's deliberate. We have the sun here that comes up reversed, right? Um... And we'll talk about that too. The sun is talking about some kind of delays that you guys didn't plan for. So overall, with this Knight of Swords, because of this behavior, I see that there's separation here, right? Separation from people, places, and things in this relationship. For some of you guys, you need time to come to grips with something in this relationship. For some of you guys, you back out because your person is unreliable. Sagittarius, you feel like your Gemini is unreliable. Some of you guys feel like your Sagittarius might have some mental challenges or you might feel like they have an addiction that's become unbearable where you can't even maintain this relationship, something like that, right? So we see unreliable actions, but you guys are also being advised to judge people by actions and not by words. I feel like for some Sagittariuses, you were trusting what somebody was saying to you. For some of you guys, you could have been listening to Gemini because this is the Knight of Swords here. This is your energy towards him. You felt like Gemini was the Knight of Swords reversed. You're no longer judging him by their words. You are now judging him by their actions, Sagittarius. We see the sun reverse. This is some delays. This is why maybe you put some sort of a pause on this relationship. It says here that you took a pause from this relationship. You're like, okay. Because if we take a look at this, we're going to see where Gemini expresses some behavior. It's behavior that is destructive. And then you interpret it as this is cruel behavior. And now I can't trust one word you say. And what I have to do is judge you by what you do, your actions. You tell me you're going to fix stuff, but then you go back out partying again. You tell me you're not going to be obsessive. You, obsessive. you want to be independent. You tell me you're going to stop the drugs, but then you go back out partying again. And then you call every five minutes to make sure I'm home, not doing anything. I'm the good little person at the house, cleaning and cooking and waiting for you while you're partying, storting it up. Mm. it says here because of this Sagittarius you may have put a pause on a relationship or something like that there's some delays there's some adjustments that you hadn't planned for the cards say that you put a pause on this but what you did do you said you know what I don't feel good about this relationship and it's starting to make me feel down about myself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and I'm going to do something to my appearance right I'm going to express myself differently I'm going to get a haircut I'm going to express myself differently to the world so I used to wear, I don't know, all green before. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on all black. I'm going to wear all purple. It's just a different way you express yourself. Some of you guys could be dyeing your hair. You could be putting different colors in your hair, highlights. It could be a seasonal hair change or something like that. But for some of you guys, 
This relationship has completely depleted you. I'm depleted of energy. I thought I was going to have this paradise. I thought I would be married to you or our marriage is now ruined. I thought this was going to be paradise and I see it slipping away from myself, my hands. They're slipping away. For some of you guys, you could have had a Gemini keep your children away from you or turn your children against you or something like that. But I also see here that there's some sort of a loss. There's delayed gratification. It's not immediate, right? There's temporary depression, but it only asks for a little while until you get you guys yourselves together. But it also says that you are waiting. So even though you're doing all these things, it's almost like, yes, I'm waiting for my relationship to improve. But while I do that, right? Because remember, the common energy for both you guys is that you want something to work. Both you guys want reconciliation. That will be the goal. But for some of you, it's a very unrealistic goal because when you come home, your TV will be missing because of the drugs. So there's something that you guys know that's not sustainable in some sense. For some of you guys, this could have been material loss. If we want to take a look at the sun, the sun means material happiness if it were upright, a joyous outcome, success. This is reversed. Sagittarius, some of you guys know this is not going to work. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo energy here. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries. It could be that energy too. Or some of you guys might think the girl with the snake could be a Leo or an Aries. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, whatever that's about. Anybody here? Again, you guys have the Fool card that comes in reverse. So I feel like there are definitely people on the outside influencing this relationship. But with all of this, right, you notice how Sagittarius goes within, they take care of themselves, they recognize the problem, they recognize they're losing, they recognize my happiness is gone, my funds are depleting because this person's on drugs, they're taking my TV, they're stealing the cash out of my wallet. I go into the Queen of Wands energy because now I decide to take control of the relationship and what I'm going to do is make myself feel better. Sagittarius, it looks like you guys go into this Queen of Wands energy it says here that in spite of it all, you're still socially prominent, right? You're honorable. So even though you were in this crap relationship, and even though you guys may feel like you were treated like crap, take it out, resignates. I want to be very clear too. I'll do these reads and people will say, oh, that's not my energy is vice versa. So we expect that, right? So this might be you. That might be that. However it goes for you, put the folks where they belong, right? And then just go with the read. So for some of you guys here, you're still honorable. You're coming up with the Queen of Wands energy. You are honorable. You dealt with the delays and adjustments. You dealt with the promises of marriages and engagements and it didn't happen or when it did happen. Because remember, Gemini is trying to get themselves together now. But like I said, I get this feeling it might be too late. So this Queen of Wands energy comes up. It talks about you still being honorable, operating in integrity, but most of all, clarity of vision. For some of you guys, it says still, in spite of all this stuff, in spite of all these people in your relationship, these external whatever it's whether it be the external drugs or the people or whatever, you guys still walk with wisdom and people still respect you, right? And it says still, in spite of all this, you're an inspiring influence. What is the common energy between you guys here? Problem solved. There's a King of Pentacles energy that helps you guys out. Now, at the end of the day, the common energy was you guys both wish that something would work out, right? You still have this hope for this relationship. It says problem solved. Now, the problems could be solved with the King of Pentacles. This could have been about money, but it says here, you guys reach out to somebody or there's this common energy here where both you guys are in this King of Pentacles energy because remember, with Gemini trying to do the work to get out of this funk, but I still feel like Gemini is overindulgent. I still feel like they're taking way too many risks here. And I feel like you're operating in clarity. Like I know what this is about. I know this is not going to work. King of Pentacles, problem solved. Whether the problem be Gemini realizing that they effed up or the problem being solved by Sagittarius taking off, abandoning this relationship or saying, you know what? I'm going to go date somebody else. I'm going to go have coffee with somebody else. That could be the solution to your problems. So we have a natural problem solver, but this is related to property. Some of you guys, this is related to some sort of property development or something like that. There's somebody who's going to help you guys out. Maybe there's a landlord that's going to work with you or somebody connected to a landlord. There's some kind of strategy here. You guys are working out of some sort of a strategy. King of Pentacles is going to be a solid and practical leader. They're a wise investor. If this is not a person, this is going to be the energy that you guys are both in where you guys have now decided after this 
disaster or train wreck or whatever this is, right? I've decided now to operate in my King of Pentacles energy. I'm responsible. I'm a problem solver. I'm going to take care of the things that are going on at home. Could be a property developer. I want to be clear. These could be career people. Just because somebody's overdoing drugs and they can't rise from the Phoenix doesn't mean that they don't have a job. Doesn't mean that they aren't successful when it comes to finances and things like that. It just means morally, ethically, or... <laughs> I don't know, being present in a relationship might be a challenge for one of you. The expectations were not met, I believe, for Sagittarius. So this strategy that you guys are coming up with, you guys, this could even be somebody that you guys are working with to see if you can repair things. Somebody who's going to help you work on your property, somebody operating in confidence, charisma, with the strategy, and this person has a lot of, oh, this person has a lot of leeway with their colleagues. This could be a mediator in your relationship. There's another Ford F-150. I don't know how they do. They like to rev up their engines. But the funny thing is, that's all you can do. Because if you stop over here, you already know what it is. I made that clear too. So you can rev all you want. I'm going to still record. I'm not going to stop recording to make you happy. Sorry, not going to happen. So in any case here, there's something with colleagues and somebody being able to pull strings to get things done. It says here that whoever you guys are dealing with takes pride in exuding power. I think that might be both your energies. Both you guys might have some sort of power. Because remember, Sagittarius is coming up as socially prominent with the Queen of Wands. So I think both you guys might have some sort of status of some sort. And that's the energy that you want to operate in now, whether it be for... Uh, to get out of this rut, I'm now in this King of Pentacles where I want to take care of my ish. Or if you've been through hell, Sagittarius, and now you're like, I'm in Queen of Wands. I now want to handle my ish. It could be something like that. Um, huh. I do want to pull something here. I want to pull something. Wedding rings. I want to see here because this destructive... Ooh, okay. This destructive behavior is coming up for Gemini. Like I said... This could be Gemini or it could be Sagittarius. This, these energies could be what Gemini thinks of Sagittarius or something like that. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on here. This destructive behavior that we're seeing here, this codependence, this drugs, what else? Or what is this about? Can you define? Tell me what this partying is about or what do we need to know? This obsession, what is this about? Please give me the energy. We mm. Somebody got caught up with narcotics transport. I can't rise from this. Some of you guys may have decided to walk away from this relationship with Gemini because they got caught up in narcotics transport. It does say something here about partying. It says obsession, possession. For some of you guys, whenever you see that card, this is going to be about things that chemically enhance you. But it looks like this person may have been transporting it. Give me more. So we see that we have a Gemini that might be involved in narcotics transport. Right? Maybe this person's carrying drugs somewhere. Mind you, this could still be career people. Maybe they're career narcotics transporters. I doubt that. I feel like they might just be caught up with it. Or you guys have to understand too, there's a whole lot of people or there's some outside influences that could be other than drugs. It could be people who are involved in this. And maybe that's the thing that Sagittarius was like, listen, I'm not dealing with that crap. Protection. Mm. For some of you guys, you had this destructive behavior, Gemini, in this relationship where you could have been with somebody else. If somebody needs conf uh, confirmation that there was protection used, it looks like it was. But it also references that there could have been something having to do with sex outside the relationship, outside the marriage with the charmed or used, right? With the girl with the snake. So that backs that up. Give me one more. What's another possibility for the tactics that Gemini was using, please? Escapism. Yep, arsonist. Somebody could have got caught up for or be accused of arson in the past. I feel like you guys probably found out something about your Gemini. And I feel like that's why you had to turn this relationship off or take time away from it to see if it was something that you guys would be able to tolerate, put up with, something like that. So that's what I'm getting for that. We're going to leave that there. Um, Let me see. Teddy bear coffee cup wedding rings i really don't see a need to pull this i will though give me the knight of swords energy knight of swords energy that comes up for sagittarius give me that energy please all right so we have honor somebody dishonored their uh group coven group of people society there was a society out here sagittarius dishonored these folks or maybe you don't have any respect for these people 
because of the involvement that Jim and I had with them, right? Could be something like that. We see some of you guys are running for safety, safe house, Sagittarius. You're trying to get away from this, trying to get away from people that you don't respect, people who maybe have interfered with your relationship. Put your Gemini in positions where they're out partying with all these different people and they know that Gemini could be weak, right? Give me one more. Hold on. We also see here abandon. Some of you guys are questioning, should I abandon this relationship? Or you could be dealing with a Gemini who's been abandoned before. Common energy, toxic. You guys would feel like this is a toxic relationship, right? You agree that it's toxic, but do you agree on whose fault it is that this is toxic? All right, so we got that. I'm going to leave that there. Let me put this over here. Yeah, I need room. All right, let me, what's next here? Ooh, love. I don't know what I do with my love cards. Hold on, y'all. Oh, hold on, it goes off. Give me one sec, guys. I know we're already at 35 minutes, but I need to get the details. Let me get love. Where are my love cards? Oh, here. Let me go get them. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna use these. I'll use um, these are all beat up though. Hold on, let me see if I can find the other ones, y'all. Hold on. I don't know where they are. I, every single time. Because these cards get all over the place, y'all, and that annoys me. So I try and clean them up a little bit. So I'm gonna use these crap ones that I can find. Let's see. Mm -mm. All right, I'm gonna use these. I need the beat up ones, that's fine, don't matter. I need to use the beat up ones so I can preserve the big ones. I think I got a newer deck too. Yeah, cause these are like the first ones ever. What's going on with Gemini in this relationship? Show me love please for Gemini, show me love. Reconciliation. Like I said, some of you guys are fearing that you cannot reconcile. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Somebody's not coming back. Some of you guys, if they do come back, you're doubting it. But I feel like you know somebody's not coming back. Somebody's not going to be able to tolerate whatever it is you're putting out. And I feel like you guys probably try to do the work to get past this. But like I said, sometimes people do stuff and it just becomes too late. It's like your growth happened way too late, and now I'm off having coffee with somebody else, getting something started. I'm interested in somebody else or deciding whether or not I want to take somebody up on some sort of an offer to date. Give me more. We also have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yes, it is, but I don't feel like it's going to be with each other. I feel like you're disconnecting from the world was you going out partying again with your friends. And I feel like Sagittarius ain't having it or they weren't interested in it because they know what goes on at this, this partying. All right. Now, mind you, Gemini is hanging out with these people who are narcotics dealers and stuff like that. I see a beach here. People going across state lines, flying across waters or whatever this is. Right. So give me one more for Gemini. All right. We also have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I feel like for some of you guys, you want to get to know each other again. I do not feel like this is a new relationship. I feel like some of you guys want to get to know each other again after this storm. That's what I'm getting out of it. Or for some of you guys, this could be new. I doubt that though. I feel like you're really getting to know each other. Some of you guys could have had a fast paced relationship where it's like, oh, I like you. Let's get married. And I feel like some of you guys could have gotten caught up in this la la land, unrealistic. Oh, I'm going to marry him or whatever. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I feel like Jim and I, that could be why this didn't go the way you wanted it to or the way Sagittarius wanted it to. Sag, give me your energy in this relationship, please. Give me your energy in this relationship with Gemini. Keep an open mind. My mind is closed to this. I already saw what I had to see and I know this is not going to work. You, the drugs, the girl with the, the, the snake and all this other stuff. I feel like you guys may not want to deal with this. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Um, I feel like you guys tried it and you're like, I'm not keeping, I already tried that. I feel like for some of you guys, Sagittarius, Jim and I could have been a different person. I feel like for some of you guys, it could have been a series of relationships where maybe things didn't work out and you're like, this person's not my type. And I feel like you may have given it a chance anyway, or entertain that fantasy of let's, we're going to be together. We're going to be married. And it just didn't work. Possibility. Give me more. Sagittarius, what's going on in this relationship, please? We have wedding. This situation involves marriage. Some of you guys are married. 
and the wedding rings came up twice. This could be a broken marriage. Mm. And some of you guys need to get to know each other all over again. Because like I've said, I've said since 2000, how long? 2019? Am I here? 2019 to 2020. Whatever date it was. I've been saying for years, people grow at different paces. After you go through something in life, you have to get to know your partner all over again. Right? You go through somebody losing a parent. There's something about them that's going to be a little bit different. They're not going to be happy overnight the way they were before. And even after that, you still have to get to know who is the new, who is my, who is my husband or my wife after this major loss, right? For some of you guys, you're like, I only have one parent and the one I did have is gone. They passed. That is serious. For some of you guys, you may have two parents, right? That are active in your lives and you go through one loss, you start to get over it. Then the other one goes and oh my, it's just, it's a constant. You have to get to know each other again, right? So if you're not mature enough to do that, if you resort to drugs and all this other stuff to get through it, there's going to be a partner who's like, that's not a healthy way to do it. And I'm not sure if this is healthy for us to be together anymore. Give me more Sagittarius. One more. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I feel like that's where you got, you are. Some of you guys are seriously married and entertaining dating somebody else because of drug use or because of whatever else. This looks like a lot of drug use, sleeping around, narcotics. This person's still partying, Sag. Give me one more, please. We also have here separation. Some of you guys are deciding whether or not you want to come out of separation. For some of you, you're deciding that now is the time to separate. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Some of you guys are coming out of this, but some of you guys are like, I'm never coming out of this. I wanted to be with somebody else. I want to try somebody else. I want to date somebody else. Give me the common energy and love for these folks, please. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. There's a decision that needs to be made in the area of love in this relationship. You see a lot of issues here, right? All right, we're going to get a conversation and we are done. Give me a conversation, please. I'm going to use these. Give me a conversation with Gemini and Sagittarius, please. Gemini and Sagittarius. Gemini, Sagittarius relationship. What's going on? Oh. Gemini, I don't need you. Or you feel like you don't need me. It says I don't need you, right? So it could be some cocky energy, especially when you was out partying. You know, I feel like them drugs will make you say anything. But whatever. Gemini comes back and says, I dislike you right now. Okay, and, and what? And what is you going to do? Go burn the house up with arson? You going to go sleep around? You already did that. Let's see. Now, I'll miss you. Don't then. You ain't got to miss me. All right. Sag, give me your energy, please. What do you have to say to Gemini? Sagittarius, what do you have to say to Gemini, please? I'm scared. Why are you scared? Don't be scared, Sag. It's all right. Don't worry. Give me more, please. Give me more. Some of you guys are scared you're getting abandoned. I don't want to be abandoned. That's what that is. Don't leave me. I don't want to be abandoned. I miss you, but I lie to myself. I miss you, but you treat me like crap. You do drugs. I come home. My TV's missing. You're sleeping around with other people. I got to keep going to the doctor to get checked every time I forgive you. It's never ending. You say the drugs are done, but then you turn around and you go back out partying. You said you would never transport again or hang out with these drug transporters, and you did it again. You said you weren't going to hang out with these people who are burning things down, and it looks like you do it again. I just feel like there's betrayal here, like promises unkept. Another conversation. It can, I feel alive when we kiss, so I feel like Sagittarius is not denying how they feel about you. They're like, I love you, but you ain't right. So I need to make a decision, even though I love you, of how this is going to go. I feel like this is a toxic relationship, but I still, I feel alive when we kiss. And so I don't think Sag is denying how they feel about you, but they're also acknowledging that you're not good for them because of the state that you're in, Gemini. Give me more common energy, please. Twin flame. I thought you were my twin flame. Maybe we're not twin flames. <sighs> All right, guys, that's all I have for you. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe.
please. I love you guys. Thank you for your support.